Well, before the show and which everyone may be aware that it comes in the media, many people, many of my friends have told, you know, Shah Rukh Khan is not a practicing Muslim and he's not happy to be a Muslim and he normally gives comments against Islam and he does this and that. I personally have not heard it personally on the television. I have not heard because I watch television very little. But because it were comments, I follow the verse of the Quran. Quran says in Surah Hujra, chapter 49, verse number 6, that whenever you get a message, check it up before you pass it on to the third person. The same thing what I use, whether anyone asking comment, like Barak Haddad asked me on Osama bin Laden, I said, I don't know. Same thing, even though hearing negative comments of Shah Rukh Khan, I always said, Allah Alam. But what I heard him saying on the show, I'm not talking in the chat after the show, what I heard him on the show, I felt, irrespective whether he's practicing or not, but his answers, were far better than most of the Muslims on the show. Not counting, of course, Mawana Mahmud Madni. He's a close friend of mine. MashaAllah, he's a practicing Muslim. But leaving aside him, what answers he gave, compared to all the other Muslims on the show, his answers were more correct. And he rightly agreed, saying that, you know, that though he does film acting and singing and dancing, he says it is haram. That was good of him. And he says that he has less knowledge. But he also said, that for correct knowledge, you should ask the scholars and the ulamas and the maulanas. So his answers were far superior than the other people who were Muslim in the talk show. And after the show, one comment I'd like to make, that while discussing on the issue of Muslim identity, he asked me, Dr. Zakir Naik, he said, Dr. Zakir Sahib, what is your view? How important is it to keep a beard and wear the cap? So giving an analogy, there was in a talk show, there was no barakadat. So I could explain to Brother Shah Rukh Khan, more easily and you know without any interruption so I told him that when you appear for an examination there are some questions which have one mark some question have 10 marks some question have 20 marks the Muslim identity wearing the cap and the beard though it's not of utmost importance but it is important it may carry maybe one mark you know behaving practically being honest speaking the truth these points about Islam the practice may carry 10 marks, may carry 5 marks. So, though keeping a beard is not the most important, you can miss the 1 marks and concentrate on the 10 marks and 5 marks and 20 marks. But if someone wants to score distinction, he will try and even get this 1 mark. For example, when we appeared for the medical examination, we tried even to get the half mark because we wanted to score above 90. So when you want to score above 90, this is very important. Beard is important. And cap is important, it's a part of the sunnah. But if someone doesn't keep a beard, you cannot say that he's not a Muslim. You cannot say he's not a Muslim, doesn't sport a beard or doesn't wear a cap. But oh, you have given a very good analogy. So you like the example that it is important, but may carry one mark, two marks. The more important is, is the amal. The other things about being honest, about offering salah, not doing shirk. This is of more importance. And as I mentioned even in my answer to the talk show, that if a person does not keep a beard, it doesn't come in the 70 major sins. You know, there is a scholar by the name of Imam al-Dhabi, and he has listed the 70 major sins in Islam. First being the shirk, then being murder, going down the line. But the beard doesn't appear. That does not mean it's not a sin. Some scholars say that it is a sunnah, mustahab. That's encouraging. Some scholars say that it is farad to keep a beard. But whatever it is, no one puts it in the major sin. Either it's a minor sin or it's a very important sunnah. So it's not part of the major sin. Hope that's That's a good clarification. Uh, may we have my brother put forward this question. May we have your name and profession, please. I'm Obed Khan. Um, in that program on NDTV, Shah Rukh Khan had made a comment. That for a Muslim, to look like a Muslim is not important. But to feel like a Muslim is important. I would like to hear your comment on that. To look like a Muslim, I would say, is not the most important. But to feel like a Muslim, again, feeling may be different as I gave the earlier answer. That being honest is more important than wearing a beard and wearing the cap. But being honest and wearing the cap and the beard is much better than only being honest without the beard. But a person who's proud to be a Muslim would always like to show that he's a Muslim. So if you're proud to be a Muslim, for example, when a person passes medical degree, you know, he becomes a doctor. 
when he gets MBBS degree, and he puts a doctor in front of his name. Why? Well, he's proud to be a doctor. The person who's proud to be a Muslim, he would be proud to show that he's a Muslim. And this is one of the labels that the Muslim has, that is wearing a beard and wearing a cap. From the answer. Two comments before I put forward questions you could ask. We have Shahjini Ibrahim Hassan Sidhi asks, in fact, they fear the young Zakir sir, they need to show their beliefs is right. They don't think that Islam is most growing religion without the help of the media. Allah knows best. Then we have brother Akib who says, I'm a practicing Muslim and I have myself been subjected to typification and biases many a time, but I feel NDTV and Burqa are one of the best things around. I agree Zakir Naik should have been given more time to speak, but it's a short time show and all is not possible. Shah Rukh has spoken most wisely and said what Islam actually says except one or two points which we all are humans are bound to err. Kudos to NDTV and Barkha, but yeah, KK, Padamsi, VC, Jamia and Soha spoke their whims. Sahaja said that what he spoke about Islam was far better than most of the other Muslims in the show. And but natural, the view that the people normally have, I don't know what he is or not. But when I spoke to him after the show and what I heard the answer in the show, and what I spoke after the show, at least what I experienced, at least he is not at all feeling apology to be a Muslim. He is happy to be a Muslim, unlike what people portray. So at least my opinion about him, good, I did not agree with the opinion of the others. I may be wrong, people may know him better than me, I've only met him once, but what I heard live on the talk show, and what I had a discussion after the show, at least my opinion about him is that fine, he agrees, he does something wrong, but he is proud to be a Muslim, and he would love to learn more about Islam, and that is what is Islam always believes, that not to just hear what people say, but at least my opinion about him is that not what people talk about him, when I met him personally, you are a different person. Yes, brother. Yeah, welcome. Tarukh Khan again and again, but of late I have observed that he is, I mean, that is what he says, that he is offering namaz and he plans to go for Hajj, inshallah, this year. Was it, I mean, I don't know, it's because of interaction with you or what has made him, Allah has given him hidayah to pray namaz. Now he is often tweeting that I am going for namaz. And he says that this year I intend to go for Hajj, inshallah. May Allah give him good desire. I don't know, but I do know that there are common friends between him and me. And he has confessed with me that he has seen many of my DVDs. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may give hidayah to all of us and may get us closer to the truth of Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Zakir Bhai, in the show, Kabir Khan made a comment saying that, you know, if a mother is wearing hijab, and the daughter adopts this habit of the mother, then this is not free will. But if the mother is not wearing a hijab and the daughter adopts this habit of wearing a hijab, this is free will. Do you accept this definition of free will given by Kabir Khan? This definition will be applicable to some people, especially to Kabir Khan. <laughs> because Kabir Khan, he told that he was born in a Muslim family. I think maybe that is the reason he is calling himself a Muslim. Maybe he has no free will. You know, if he had a free will, he would have said he is not a Muslim. So the definition does agree to him that he has not been given a free will. Therefore, though being a born a Muslim family, he calls himself a Muslim. So this definition does apply to him and it feels that he had no free will to say he's not a non-Muslim, if I agree with it. As far as normally what we see, that there are many of the children who follow their parents. I do agree most of them do it by blind belief. If the father is a Hindu, the children are Hindu. If the parents are Muslim, the children are Muslim. If parents are Christian, the children are Christian. I do agree to a great extent that many do blind belief. But some of them question the parents. Some of them may do because it's part of religion. Some may do because it is part of culture. But many children, they question the parents. And after questioning the parents, they may get convinced what their parents are doing right, and they may continue. So these people now, out of free will, they are continuing what the parents are doing. 